We have people coming into the country or trying to come in. We're stopping a lot of them. But we're taking people out of the country. You wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people. These are animals. And we're taking them out of the country at a level and at a rate that's never happened before. And because of the weak laws, they come in fast. We get them, we release them, we get them again, we bring them out. I know how to start now. Okay. Una, dos, y tres. Okay, so immigration is the result of a previous problem that we don't talk about. And you don't leave your country if you are not forced to or if you're not obligated to leave I want to leave my country if it wasn't violent or if it wasn't if I didn't think there was better opportunities in here trust me I'll be still there so when it comes to the president making decisions about who comes in here and who doesn't um, he uh, we like United States has fucked with the welfare of a lot of countries because of its imperialism so I'm gonna put an example. Uh, last year, um, Honduras was going through a rough time with its president because he's really corrupt, and the the elections were um, were in process, and he he declared himself as the president even though the population didn't elect him. So there were a lot of uh, strikes and a lot of people died and nobody wanted Juan Orlando Hernandez as the president, but then Donald Trump, because of, you know, political inter interpretation? Interference. Yeah, interference, thank you. Um, he declared Juan Orlando Hernandez as the official president and that made upset a lot of people because nobody wants him, but because Donald Trump declared him as the president, um, he's official, officially in the house now. So after that decision was made, 5,000 people, around 5,000 people decide to leave the country because there's just no other way around it. It's either you stay and you die or you try and you have a better future. So now when the caravan comes here, we all see this as just the result. And we, well, everybody thinks they have the right to decide, yeah, who comes in and who doesn't. So if the president is gonna get involved in other countries, they also, he also has to accept the consequences of his acts and if United States are gonna um, get involved in um, different countries because of its imperialism like I said uh, they also have to recognize their acts because um, United States got involved in Guatemala for the civil war uh, in the last century and nobody talks about it nobody talks about the 20,000 people that were dead. Nobody talks about all the wars that the uh, United States has get involved and has started in other countries. And when people try to escape from all these violent situa situations and we try to seek a better place, we are seen as the bad people. So if the United States is gonna get involved, they should get involved for help instead of ruin and instead of their own political um, benefits. Well, um, Guatemala is one of the countries with most violence in Central America. And there's seven people killed by day. Also, there's the country is dominated by orga organized crime, meaning police is corrupt. So there's, if you get mugged or assaulted, there's no one that can help you like in this country there's no law and um, we also don't have free education and that leads to poverty um, there's more than 300 families living in the dumpsters and children on the streets are pretty common too also um, 
they live in the sewers and we call them like snippers because they smell the glue of the what you used to to stick the shoes and that is their drug because um, that makes them don't get hungry so it's pretty common to see kids around the city smelling this glue which is really sad and the government is never gonna get involved in all these social problems so it's gonna be hard to change and also besides the violence there's a lot of uh, corruption and to change that it's it's a problem in the government so it's not really the people it's not really the fault of the civilians or the citizens it's more a government situation so it's really it's really a tough situation Uh, there's no difference between an illegal and a legal person they both are humans so if in my uh, power is the option to help somebody I will do so and um, well I mean it's really expensive to get a way in here the legal way so if you have ten thousand dollars to start the process well I mean you're lucky so if I were a millionaire I will help a lot of people of course but the only thing I can do so far is um, give my support. <laughs> well, right now that uh, that problem is completely out of control because there's a lot of kids that won't be um, taken with their parents again um, there's just too many families uh, divided so I don't think that's humane but there's a lot of things that United States do that are also inhumane so well that's just one of the things that are really bad because nobody talks about it also nobody seems like it's something that it seems it's put as something that is necessary because there's so much people coming to the country so we need to put them in these places but i mean when a kid dies when an eight-year-old kid dies in there because he was cold and nobody did anything about it i mean when the life of a human being is put before its rights that's when we all should make a, a decision and change it. But I mean, he's just a poor immigrant kid from Guatemala, so who cares, right? Um, that's what it makes me think when I hear the word cages for people that just want a better life. The only thing I can do so far is uh, speak about it to let people know that it's not because we want to steal opportunities it's not because we want to come in here to um, invade like United States did in other countries so we just come here to get a better life and that's the only thing I can do so far well like I said um, the problem is not the loss in here it's in the country so if we want to change the immigration we need to get involved in the government in the other countries. I mean, the CIA and a lot of uh, a lot of information uh, has come out about all the corruption that is being done in Central American countries. Why nobody does anything? Why everybody everybody knows how much money presidents steal, how much drugs come illegal? But um, let's say in Nicaragua when um, Sandino, uh, the, the revolution, the Sandinista revolution, um, president, the president that was in the United States at that time uh, allowed uh, drug cartels to send drugs in here in exchange of the money that was pro 
being produced by the drug, um, by the drug cartels, uh, all that money was gonna used against uh, the president that was in um, Nicaragua uh, because he was accused to be a communist. So United States a lot of, allowed a lot of drugs uh, to come here and nobody talks about that either. A lot of armament was involved, a lot of corruption was involved. So right now Nicaragua is in a really bad uh, revolution. It's been more than 11 months, it's almost a year, where a lot of people has been killed and why nobody interferes. So if we want to change immigration, we have to change the situation in that country because that's the re reason why people leave. Because, I mean, if you are born in a country where you never seen a dead body on the streets, you are lucky, but there's a lot of people that uh, it's born in this situation. And it's not, at the end of the day, it's not about what I do as a citizen. It's about the government taking its responsibility. What I can do as a strikes, as many as strikes as I want, but that won't change because the power is it's just a bureaucratic wall that um, not even all of the population can change. It's just the system and the government that needs to be changed. And I'll say it very straight. Immigration is the fault and all of the problems that we're having, because we cannot get them to sign legislation. We cannot get them even to the negotiating table. And I say it's very strongly the Democrats' fault. They're obstructing. They're really obstructionist. And they are obstructing. The United States will not be a migrant camp, and it will not be a refugee holding facility. It won't be. You look at what's happening in Europe, you look at what's happening in other places, we can't allow that to happen. Uh, so if my children is born on the streets, the problem will be when the government decides not to do anything about it. So um, as, as a population, as a community, we can help them. I mean, we can give food to homeless people, we can give blankets to them, and we can try to make their day better. But um, at the end, that's something about the, it's something that the government needs to get involved in. And um, the country is beautiful in its landscapes, but I mean, if you have a beautiful country with violence, that just completely ruins it. So.